What's up everybody? Today we're going to go over how to download and install the latest releases for Profit Trailer and PT Feeder and kind of how I go about doing this and whatnot. So I guess to start out we'll do Profit Trailer and the reason you guys need to know how to do this is these exchanges, Binance, Bittrex, Poloniex, they can make updates to their API and especially if you're using Feeder, they, they can start to change their, the way that the, the trading bot is communicating with the exchange and gathering this information. And so thus the software needs to be updated from time to time. And then also there's just little bugs that they didn't catch when they released their previous versions. So it's important to be downloading the newest versions. And I know it's kind of a hassle and whatnot, but I mean, it's worth it. So. Profit Trailer is, you'll come to this page, it's their GitHub, and it's Tanaman is the main contributor to this GitHub page. So, I mean, you can see here the change log, the GUI is the same. Binance Exchange, whoa, what happened there? Binance Exchange, still no support for consecutive buy triggers, fixes. They fixed the WebSocket errors on startup, um, you know, just little things. And you can read through these, and you can go down and see the older releases if that is something you want to do, but I always just get the latest release. So you'll click on this, the profit trailer dot zip, and then we'll do the, the uh, PT feeder one. So this is methadone. He is the main contributor here on this GitHub. And you can see we're on version 1.3.5.329 build three, same idea. He's telling you what he's changing. He's giving you the update instructions. And this is all on the wiki for both of them. So um, if you're having trouble with this, then you're clearly not reading the wiki. That's fine. I guess that's why I'm here, right? So um, anyway, so you'll click on this zip here as well. And then what's going to happen is you're going to download. For, you're going to go to your downloads if you're on a Mac. And you are just going to drag them over to your desktop. And as you can see, I've downloaded the, the gnomes feeder settings, the crows feeder settings, and then this is an old profit trailer setting that I was using. But um, I like to just look at these and what they're doing. And I download them pretty much right as soon as they release their settings because I just like to see what they're doing, kind of how they're playing the market at any given point. And, uh, and then I kind of adjust their settings based on how, you know, I see fit. But anyway, so. Once you have these dragged onto your desktop, I had to change this name to Profit Trailer-2 because I already had Profit Trailer um, done. So, I mean, do whatever you want to do. Name it whatever you want. But then you're going to have to make sure that you name it and you're calling it out in your feeder settings correctly. So we'll do Applications Properties. This is These are the, the downloaded stuff. I didn't change anything yet. So you'll open this if you're on a Mac with Other. You'll open it with text edit and you will see exactly what I see here. And basically what's going to happen is you're going to go into your old settings, wherever you had those. And if you don't know what any of this is or what any of this means, then you're on the wrong video. You need to go back and watch my how to set up profit trailer video because this, that video will go over all of this, all this information, what it is. But basically, if you already have done all that, then you just need to go copy and paste from your previous ones. And forgive me, but I'm not going to show you mine. So, so you get your default API key one, you copy it and paste it in here and you copy and paste your secret key. And then you do the same thing down here. And then this is something that keeps coming up in my comments is I can't log in to my profit trailer after the new release. Okay, well, this is where you're going to be able to change that. So right now, when you type in HTTP, you know, localhost 8081 in your, um, up here in your URL, or when you launch Profit Trailer, it's going to send you to that exact, uh, website and it's going to say, you know, what's your password? Well, this is your password right here. You get to change this. You can change this to whatever you want. It really doesn't matter but you have to remember it. And if you don't remember it, it's not hard to figure out what it is. You just go into your files and you open it up and you figure out what it is. Copy and paste it, save it somewhere, whatever you want to do. The default is my server password with capitals 
to it's the M is capital, the S is capital, and the P is capital. So anyway, you can trade your training day or your trading log history here. That's done. Once you've done that, you're set on profit trailer. Don't need to change anything else. Profit feeder. This is all standard settings. I haven't changed a thing. You're going to go in here to text to edit and you are going to do the, the main thing you're going to want to change in this folder here is right, right here. This is where you are telling your bot to look for your profit trailer trading folder. Okay. So feeder needs to be able to find this is feeder and this is trailer feeder needs to be able to find this folder. The only way that a computer can find something is telling it where the folder, the file path is. Okay. So what you have to do is if you're on a Mac, this is not the right format. And if you're on a windows, this is the right format. So, um, if you're on a Mac, then you want to make sure that you copy the correct file format and it looks like this. It's like users or user. And then I believe it is a slash like this. And then whatever your file path is. Okay. And you have to make sure, and this is, you know, this goes on. This is not the correct format, but there's its user and there are forward slashes instead of backslashes. And there's no C colon for a Mac. And if you are having trouble with this, go watch my uh, profit trailer feeder setup video. And I, I explain exactly how to do this in more detail. Um, anyway, so once you have this, make sure you are changing this to whatever, um, exchange that you're using and make sure that your market condition check in minutes is to four or above to avoid the IP ban. And I've experienced this myself and it sucks because your bot does not do anything. So just be careful for that. Um, and then once you're done with that, you're pretty much finished. Now, if you are wondering, okay, that's great. But now you're waiting with all these, these stock settings. So if you liked the way that your feeder was running before you downloaded, downloaded the newest update, what you'll do is you'll just go into your old feeder settings. And for example, I use the gnome feeder and what you can do is, well, let's see, gnome feeder, copy config folders. Here we are. Okay. So this looks very similar to everybody, I hope. And if you guys say this was your own settings that you used before and you just wanted to download the newest update, all you have to do, leave the host settings out of it. Just don't touch it. Grab this folder, this folder, this folder, this folder, this folder, and this folder and drag them over here. And what you probably need to do first is delete all these. You can just trash them. And I don't feel like trashing them on this video, but just throw these away. If, if you don't want to use the stock settings and you liked your old settings and then just simply grab these settings and drag them over into this folder and, and then you're finished. You close it and then you launch PT feeder exactly how you used to. And if you don't understand how to launch feeder and trailer, then please go watch my other video. And I do a more in depth explanation on how to set it up and how to start it and everything. So, with that said, that I'm going to cut this video short because it's very simple. Um, if you still have questions or if you think I missed something or if whatever the case may be, leave them in the comments. I always do my best to reply to everybody who has legitimate questions. And, um, you know, leave me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing a profit trailer settings update in the next. I'm probably going to film it right now, actually. So. That'll be coming out real shortly. So I'll, I'll talk to you guys all soon. I'll catch you later.